Hello again, it's me here from London and it's Tuesday. Um, before I get into um, the topic at hand, which is victim or self-pity, um, I wanted to share something with you and it's this book, Tuesdays with Maury, um, which I happened to pick up this morning um, and I thought it was rather funny because yesterday I was compelled to do this video um, about uh, victimhood and self-pity, but um, got busy with uh, doing cookie boxes and stuff and it didn't happen and lo and behold this morning walking into the den um, this book popped out at me uh, and uh, it's funny because I read it 20 years ago and uh, yesterday I thought to myself well let's just do videos on Tuesdays so all that said here we go um, I'll keep this short and sweet um, and for those of you tuning in I thank you um, now this is a topic that keeps coming up over and over again um, across all boards with so many people uh, to say that I don't get stuck in self-pity or victimhood uh, would be a complete lie. Just yesterday I was in, in tears over something or other and, um, and I decided, which, which I do often now, to just celebrate it. Um, you know what, I, I, I was talking to your eye uh, across the miles and um, just said to him, I feel like shit and you know, it, whatever, just feeling stuck. And uh, we both agreed to just, you know, let it be um, and, and don't resist it. And that's probably the, the greatest message that I have for you today that um, what, if you are right now, um, stuck in a situation like in a relationship or work, um, something, whatever it may be, um, I think the normal tendency is to just resist it and um, or put a band-aid sort of cover on it like alcohol um, or exercise, whatever it may be. You know, you know what it is that you do so that you're not dealing with the issue and it just kind of remains there. Um, so actually, now this is where it gets short and sweet, um, I wanted to ask you to do something and, and that is that when you're feeling this stuck sort of woe is me and crappiness, um, and not necessarily enjoy it but just let it be. So um, like for me yesterday I just admitted to myself that you know what I feel like fuck yes I just said that and um, I'm gonna celebrate that um, because what happens when you can get really honest and allow the feelings that you're having um, when you allow them consciously um, things kind of dissipate and start to go away so for me, for example, yesterday, I went through these feelings of, my God, I'm stuck, woe is me, whatever, allowed everything to, to just be. So very simply, I allow myself to feel stuck. I allow myself to be frustrated. I allow all of this feeling like ass, whatever you want to call it. And, um, and, and a couple hours later, I was off doing what I love to do, and that was art. I was creating these cookie boxes, had a beautiful meeting. Um, later on in the day and went to bed feeling really really good then woke up feeling the same now it's not to say that when you start living consciously that um, things happen in an instant and and you're just better um, there is a lot of practice involved and um, I would lie if I said to you life is not difficult but it doesn't have to be difficult so the more conscious we get um, less diffi difficult it gets so that's it, short and sweet for me, I hope, and um, wishing you a wonderful rest of your Tuesday, and see you next week on Tuesday. Have fun. Bye. Find the finish button.